Hello, my beautiful, lovely the world. This is me, Queen Nightmare, and I'm going to do a dreary one. It's called, well, dreary, and it's from Izzy underscore Dixie. Um, the first one is called, Damn It, oh, 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 Damn It, Diggory. Well, did you do this? Harry screamed, his tears falling from his eyes. Draco was in shock. No. He had no idea what happened. You killed him, you bastard! Harry was so mad and confused, he was now screaming, Mr. Potter, I can hear you from Dumbledore's office. McGonagall was infuriated. Two months later, earlier, well, shit. <laughs> I hate when they do this. It's just not helping anything. Two months earlier, Draco and Harry are... In potions class, brewing a love potion. Both like each other, but are too scared to make a move. Especially because Harry is... <sighs> this is my nightmare. I'll tell you why. It has... <sighs> Well, I did like him as Cedric Diggory, but he fucked up so much in Twilight. Because if you read the books, he is sweet and sexy in the books, but he's depressing <laughs> in Twilight. Oh, I hate this. Is dating Cedric Diggory. Guess what? Harry spoke to his friend in a higher pitched voice than usual. What? Draco replied, smirking at Harry's excitement oh my god <laughs> why are they acting like girls said you held my hand today harry smiled wide when while draco froze he had liked harry for three years if harry and cedric were moving further in their relationship then when the dance came up in three months Draco couldn't ask Harry. One month later, Harry and Cedric haven't kissed yet. Good. <laughs> Don't approve of that ship. Not at all. Makes me cringe. Sorry. If you ship it, you ship it. I don't. I would ship Cho Chang and Cedric. Sorry. Um, haven't kissed yet. Draco took Harry's first kiss when he was asleep you dick nobody kn knows but pansy pansy better beat his ass cedric hates draco and his adorable boyfriend's relationship uh, hey harry wanna hang out tonight he gently held his hand as he walked him to Transfiguration. No, sorry, I'm hanging out with C uh, Draco tonight. He looked at, up at D Cedric and smiled as he said that. Cedric waited till breakfast, um, till breakfast the next day to tell Draco, Malfoy, get your ass over here now. Cedric was pissed. He believed Harry and Draco were making out behind his back. Harry had come back blushing every time after he spent time with Draco. Uh, okay, what's wrong? Quittage is the next chapter. Leave Harry alone, Malfoy. Cedric screamed at Draco. Uh, okay, Draco said on the verge of tears. I'll leave him alone. Cedric smirked. Good. Neither one of the boys knew. Harry was watching in rage as the boy who truly loved Draco was being tormented by a Hufflepuff. Literally, a Hufflepuff. Tormenting a Slytherin. I feel... Like I should sing the status quo song from High School Musical. And I don't usually sing High School Musical songs. Um, Harry was on his way to a Quidditch match versus Ravenclaw. Oh gosh, this is not going to go well. Draco wiped his tears and Cedric made himself look happy when they saw 
when they saw um, Harry approaching. See you guys at the match, he said, cheerful at the boys, pretending he never heard their conversation. Hufflepuff common room. Cedric was talking to the other Hufflepuffs about faking Draco. Um, faking Draco hurting him. Did you do this? Did you do this? Harry screamed at Her- uh, Draco. I'm way too lazy to type the first paragraph over again, says the author. Quidditch f- uh, field. 20, um, 20 dash, um, 110. Gryffindor. Ten minutes in, Draco sat in the Slytherin area, still upset about the run-in with Cedric. <sighs> Sorry, this is just... Harry stayed above the commission, commotion on the field, still bus- uh, bursting with anger. Harry then saw Cedric walk out onto the bleachers, cheering on Harry. Draco saw this and got out of Cedric's view better into Harry's. Harry smirked, found the, um, found, um, found the snitch in about 0.5 seconds afterwards and began zooming towards Draco. He grabbed Draco's hand and pushed a note into it. Draco was shocked after reading the note. It said, Dear Draco Malfoy, I would love if you would meet me in the third empty classroom in the dungeons at 10 tonight. Love, Harry. 10 10 o'clock at night. Hogwarts, empty classroom. Draco heard the door close and saw a beautiful green-eyed boy enter. I heard that Cedric's, what Cedric said to you. I'm so sorry. Harry's eyes were, were watering. Draco felt so much pain watching him cry. Without thinking, Draco did um, did tell most unexpected things ever. Harry felt soft lips touch his own. Harry pulled back in a second in a sudden shock. Seeing Draco's expression, he regretted it immediately. You l- love me? Harry, I am so sorry. Harry was cut off, um, Draco was cut off by Harry's lips against his, and the ha- and hands gently holding his wrist. Harry, I mean, Draco was bright red, as was Harry. Draco was taken over by passion and put his hand around the smaller boy. Harry held in a moan, but then released the boy's lips to moan. Draco grinned, rubbing the boy's waist. Harry moaned once, once more. He then pulled Draco close, began kissing his neck, slowly moving further down the blonde's body, unbuttoning his shirt, revealing a six-pack of abs. Nice. He takes care of himself. Unlike me, (laughs) I'm fat as fuck. (laughs) I want to cry. Draco moaned and then covered his mouth in embarrassment. Payback! Harry panted, kissing his now bare chest. An hour later, Draco and Harry walk up to the castle, fully dressed, but hickeys, now um, pulling their, uh, um, now hiding hickeys um, on their shirt collar and their sleeves to pull them, um, to hide them. Walking um, to tell great, uh, to the great hall, Draco noticed that his father was standing in the doorway, scowling, standing beside, smiling, humming, Professor Dumbledore. Harry and Draco quickly stopped holding hands and, Oh, hello, Mr. Malfoy, Dumbledore said, slightly bowing. Oh, and Mr. Potter, Lucius glared at Harry and his son. We need to talk now. His voice was threatening. This made the boys sweat. Two hours later, Really? Draco almost screamed in excitement. Harry was sitting back in shock. Harry is really going to live with us for this summer? Draco slightly jumped. Yes. Uh, Yes, Lucius scowled. 
Well, um, when he really knew his son was in, when he really, oh my gosh, he knows that he's doing this. Lucius isn't that bad, even though his hairline's bad in the movie. I hope it's not that bad in real life. When he really knew his son was in love with him, with Harry, this made him proud. Ah! The love in this family uh, kills me. Thank you, Dad. Her- uh, Draco s- had never said this, so it surprised his dad. Thanks, son. Uh, it makes me want to cry. Sorry, um, there was an ad that played, and um, I kind of downloaded the game. It was called, um, what was it called? Catching a Cheater. Oh my gosh, it looks so much fun. <laughs> it's like those games. Have you ever played those um, five-minute like trivia games on um? YouTube, oh my gosh, that was fun. Okay. Anyways, okay. Fault of please is what it called what's called. How long are these? Please be done. Okay, so it's done. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. <clears throat> five more after this one. Summer, mouthfully manner. So, um, Draco was nervous to have his boyfriend. Wait, when did they become boyfriend and girlfriend? What? Boyfriend and boyfriend, sorry. You have to stay in my room tonight as we, uh, they, uh, don't have your room ready yet. Draco was blushing bright red from embarrassment. Harry was smiling with his eyes closed his hair pointing directly up sideways and down um can i sleep uh can uh, mm, uh i um can i sleep in your bed harry asked nervously i have nightmares a lot and i two lips were pressed against harry's which slowly made him relax Good night, Dad," said to his fa- um. Draco said to his father. Eh? He he didn't care. Eh? He didn't care what his son said. Draco and Harry. <laughs> hey, Dad! I'm gonna pregnant. <laughs> okay, Dad. Good night. I'm gonna. Don't let me impregnate <laughs> the babysitter. <laughs> Fuck. That would be me. Like, if he didn't care what I said, I would test that. I would test that I don't know if cinnamon came up and stayed maybe she didn't because I'm too loud okay anyways um eh? okay Draco and Harry slowly climbed into bed they're 16 they're younger than me good night okay whatever good night love Draco said caressing the boy's body Night, night, Harry said, slowly dozing off. I hate you. Just die. Nobody loves you. Wait, what? (laughs) Me, bitch. Me, too. Harry shot up, breathing heavily and soaked in sweat. Harry, are you all right? His boyfriend asked, concerned. Harry. His mother's voice drifted out of earshot. Oh my gosh. You, you surrounded by poltergeist, bitch. Move. <laughs> pat, pat, pat. Pitter patter. If anyone knows what that means. <laughs> I'm probably going to upload this video first. This um this one first before the others, but if you if if you re- um listen to my Tom X Harry, you'll get it. You'll get the joke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. The Gryffindor burst into tears, out of fear and sadness. I love you too. He hugged Draco tightly, holding each other. The boys fell back asleep. I'm sorry, Draco. The Dark Lord would never approve of you. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That scared the shit out of me. Hey, Cinnamon. Cinnamon.
Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Hi. Cinnamon. I sound like I'm crazy because you can't see her. Cinnamon. That's me, but... That's her. <laughs> she used to hate everyone. Sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, Draco. The Dark Lord would never approve of you. Lucius whispered his, as tears streamed down his cheeks. So I will. Oh, gosh. Another Death Eater. Oh. Harry woke up. At, to Draco sobbing in pain. Love, what's wrong? Harry asked in concern. It hurts so much, Draco mustered out. What hurts? Draco mumbled. My father just tried to kill the Dark Lord and succeeded, but he was killed. Draco was crying so hard, he almost choked on his words. He did it all for me, for his gay messed up steward son. Fuck. If this happened in Harry Potter, I would be more fucked up than I am. Well, I would be just fucked up as I am now. You hear Grandma and Grandpa? I'm I'm just, I'm talking to the cat. Sorry. Because the cat's just peeked up and the only ones that are talking other than me is Grandma and Grandpa. Okay. He did it all for me, for his gay, messed up, stupid son. Harry, um, Harry began crying. Babe, I... Draco's lips cut Harry off. I don't want to discuss it, please, Draco said after re- releasing their kiss. Let's play your game, Harry, Draco said, wiping his tears o- um, tears, the moving on... <laughs> And moving on to the Draco's and the Gryffindor's tears, sorry. The Draco's tears. <laughs> the dragon's tears. And wiping his tears, <laughs> the moving on Gryffindor's. Okay. What c- c- game? The brunette asked. It's called Red Light. My ha- hand is the fire truck. And when you say red light, I, oh my gosh, they're playing, they're, oh my gosh. I know this game. Me and my friends play it a lot. And I never say it because you know that you're, because our friends are just so friendly. Literally, we can go up to, go up to our best friend and go, we got your boob. And then they'll just be like, oh shit. Like they'll be like play offended, but like they'll be just like, I'm just playing, you know, like. Fuck you, <laughs> you know. Um, and, and Draco smirked, placing his hand on Harry's knee. Begin, Harry announced. Draco allowed, um, slowly sliding his hand up Dra- uh, Harry's thigh. Draco! Harry blushed and grabbed Draco's hand, kissing the brown-haired boy again, began rubbing Harry's waist. Harry quickly released Draco's lips and began moaning and moaning. Twelve years later, a little girl with jet black hair down to her waist sat on her father's lap. Her green eyes sparkled brightly against her pale face. Then Grandpa screamed with rage and killed the evil bald man. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Draco told Iris. With um, wonder in her eyes, she called for her other father. Dada, guess what? She called with happiness. Hmm? Harry replied, I love you. Iris kissed her dad on the cheek. Aww. Oh, I ship it. <laughs> Quick question. Hey, okay, this is like... She's thanking everyone. And then Iris... She came up with Iris, the daughter, the black hair, green eyes, and cannot do, like, a part two. It, it, she said, um, 
Well, if you guys want me to, I can do a part, like a part two, or like a new story talking about her life. You guys can, um, can, like, comment and stuff like that. Yep. That's it. (laughs) Wait, what? Oh, she was just talking. I'm sorry. Um, but yes, that is... I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just awkward now. <laughs> Wait a second. Did I? No, I didn't. Weird. There you go. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for um uh watching. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a great night and don't do anything illegal, <laughs> I guess. Don't kill the big bald man that did evil things because your son is gay or anything like that. Well guys, love you guys so much. Bye bye!